Hi everybody and welcome to episode 9 of the Casually Avid Gamer Plays Mafia 3. Okay, we just took this base here <laughs> and evidently we're just leaving rednecks around for, dead rednecks around for uh, decoration. That's fine. That's okay. What I'm going to do right now is there's a tack vest right here and for some reason mine was gone. There we go. Next up, it's time. We're going to talk to Cassandra. Hopefully we will be able to finally take out whatever his name is. Okay, fine. Please, no, please, you go first. After all, I'm only a crime lord. I'm going to park right out front. Got to remember where that car is. I like that car. And actually, I think Cassandra does have some urn for me. Let's go ahead and... Maybe not. A whetstone. Ooh. This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about Richie Ducey. Listen... I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me, is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No! Yes, I mean, shit! I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's. He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Band Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. <laughs> Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mom, I'm a mom, mom, she... Go on, get. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a one, do set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, snatch that kind of quick, considering the blade was in our hand. Cassandra, killing Richie. You've taken over the smack and prostitution rackets, drawing Richie Doucette and the Dixie Mafia out of their hole. This is how you go after Marcano, by uncovering and seizing control of his criminal rackets, then confronting his lieutenants and capos. After taking down his rackets, you'll be able to go after Marcano himself. Go kill Richie Doucette and take control of the hollow. Yay! Kill Richie Doucette. Got 360 bucks in my wallet. That's not too much to worry about losing. So if, if they kill me, I'll lose about, uh, I'll lose 180, I think. And so that's not worth going back to the, uh, the stash house for. All right. Come on. Give me a straightaway. I can let the big dog eat. Ooh, that's a nice car. Yeah, I will say, with uh, how quickly the police get involved, even here in the hollow, it's kind of, it's, it's annoying to have to steal a car. Like, especially since most of the cars you're looking at don't really have a whole lot of get up and go. Like, I like this car. I like this car a lot, because it steers well, and you, you can put some pace on things. Ha-ha! Stunt driver and stuff. Is it, is it flooded? Seriously? Should I have gotten a boat? Well. Yeah, well, it's flooded, that's for sure. Hey, he looks wet. Very cool. Wonder how long that'll take to dry. 
That goes away pretty quickly. Fine, Richie. Oh, we're doing this at night, are we? Very well. I got a bad sense about this man. Richie needs to work his shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking chores. Cause if he don't, we fucked like your mama on prom night. For sure, man. For sure. For yeah. sure. Better get back to it before Bobby starts hollering again. Yeah. All right, then. Watch your ass down there. They're getting terrible. Means this guy, I get to say, Hello! I, I can't not do the sniper rifle. You know what? I'm not down for subtle right now. So, left stick. Georgie sends you. No, I can safely say Georgie did not send me. <laughs> this is fun. Where's that guy going? That's the power of white. Get your yeah, ass over right there. There you are. Yeah, burn, boy. <laughs> I don't want to burn. You burn. <laughs> Four bullets left. Can we put any more kills on the board? I don't think we can. So now, switch to the trench. Actually, we'll pull out the pistol. Fucking coons gone like last Tuesday. We search every goddamn corner till we find them. Really? Am we close enough to hear a whistle? I'm giving up that easy. <laughs> Anybody else? Ain't about to ignore Sam like that. 
Okay, well, I actually <laughs> I hit the wrong button up up next to the uh, up against my desk, so that was slick of me. I'm the man. All right, let's go this way. Now on your ride, we got the Carnival Carousel. Nice place for you boys and girls to stay out of trouble. But if you're one of those adventurous types, you might want to head over and meet the meanest. Fifteen bullets. Seriously? I don't know. I like just I like being able to send bullets. Okay, I meant to do like a stealth kill type thing. Uh oh wait, uh off a little bit all right getting some reloads for the trench be fine okay hey motherfucker we know you're out here somewhere show yourself come on out and we'll make this fast promise go see if he's still in the bowl rat yeah come on check it out come here buddies Come here, buddies. What? Oh, did that get your attention? Did that get your attention? You come here. I wanna, I wanna show you. I got something to tell you. I got a secret. It's stab in the throat. <laughs> or a slice. Well, that's a thing. Some kind of oh, oh, that's the second time this happened. Seem to be packing that Hartman. How much ammo does he have? Not much. We will find you, cocksucker. Believe that. <laughs> I, all of a sudden, I have a new favorite gun. We search every goddamn corner till we find him. Found him. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, seriously? What are you 
done. I got a knife for you. I got a stabby thing. Survey says. Confront Richie Doucette. Okay, so... So got a hope of dog motherfucker. Can't believe George is sent over a nigga to do his dirty work. Fuck him and fuck you. Come here. Here we go. Loving it. <laughs> you need, need to run this through, boy. You think you can come in here and steal my own without nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Uh oh. Damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do? Say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, please, please, listen, listen, just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. I don't think we're decent. on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. Mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. Racist. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them. 
It's and true. None of them would be able to stop him. Killing Richie Doucette. Complete! Woot! All right, you guys. This episode's running long because that was a long last level. So... Oh, last mission, excuse me. So thank you for tuning in to this episode. The Casually Avid Gamer plays Mafia 3. I hope you enjoyed it. I did, even though, man, Richie Doucette was annoying. <laughs> so click that subscribe button. Click that like button. I want you guys to have a great week. And I'll talk to you next time.